Okay, so we're looking at uh, arithmetic progressions and we're looking for patterns. <coughs> excuse me. So any pattern of numbers where there is a constant <coughs> excuse me, a constant difference between the successive numbers, successive means just one after the other, uh, this is called an arithmetic progression. So in the pattern 4, 6, 8, 10, and then I put dot, dot, dot. Now dot, dot, dot just means maybe the pattern just kept going to infinity. Um, but dot, dot, dot just means yeah, the pattern could keep going. So with this pattern 4, 6, 8, 10, the difference between successive terms 4 and 6 is 2, between 6 and 8 is 2, between 8 and 10 is 2. So there's a constant difference, and so we call this an arithmetic progression. And because that's hard to say, we just call that an, an AP. Okay, so we're going to have APs, and later on we're going to have GPs. Okay, so looking for a constant difference. It could be adding difference, or it could be a subtracting difference. Okay, copy. Okay, so which of the following are arithmetic progressions? Which of these are APs? Okay, so we just look at successive terms. So, so this gap uh, is 8, this gap is 7, this gap is 7. The difference is not the same, so it's not an AP. Okay? Here the difference is minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. Now here, it couldn't be dot, 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 so there was, but here, the, the difference is the same, so this is an AP. Okay, next one, 2, 4, 8, so the gap is 2, the gap is 4, the gap is 8, the gap is not the same, so it's not an AP. Uh, next one, gap is 3, the gap is 5, the gap is 7, the gap is not the same, so it's not an AP. So even though these have patterns, like 2, 4, 8 is a pattern, and 3, 5, 7 is a pattern, it's not the same difference, so it's not an AP. Okay, so looking at the numbers in the patterns. So each number is called a term. Okay, so 2, 4, 6, 8. 2 is the first term, and so we call that T1. Um, 8 is the fourth number in the pattern, is the fourth term, so we call it T4, okay, etc. So copy and come across. Okay, so find the specified term in the following arithmetic progressions. So find T2 in 11975. Well, T2 means the second term, so T2 equals 9. Uh, find T4 in the pattern 3, 8, 13. Now, I haven't given you the fourth number, but let's just see. So 3 to 8 is 5, 5 to 8 to 13 is 5. It's a constant difference, so we're going to say go up in 5. So the next number would be 18. So T4 equals 18. Okay, come across when you're ready. So finding a general term. In that last example that you did, we had, to find a, we had to find a term that actually wasn't there when we wrote the question out. So what happens if you, in that pattern, had to find T20 or T47? You can't be expected to keep going up to 20 terms or to 47 terms. It's too labor-intensive. So what we do is we find what's called a general term, like a formula. This is a formula, like a recipe, that will help us find any number in the pattern. Okay, so it'll help us find any number without just being low tech and just adding, adding, adding. Okay, so what I'm going to do is generate the formula. Okay, so the first number is called the first term and we call that A. And the difference between the numbers, um, we're going to call that D. Okay, so I'm going to just be patient and we'll just have a look. So in the pattern 5, 8, 11, 14, We've got 5, 5 plus 3, 5 plus 6, 5 plus 9. Gives you the numbers 5, 8, 11, 14. But instead of doing 3s, 6s and 9s, I have a 3, I have 2 3s, I have 3 3s, etc. And here's how we get the pattern. So the first term has just the first number. And then the second term has the number plus uh, 1 difference. And then the th third term has the number that starts with plus two differences. The fourth number has the number you started with plus three differences. 
So to find any term in the sequence, which we call Tn, the general term, we start with the number we start with, and we have a multiple of the differences, and the multiple is one less than the number we're given. So T4 had three differences, T3 had two differences, T2 had one difference, T1 had no differences. Okay, so copy that. This is the only thing that's important. You don't need to worry about wha where it comes from. That's just the proof. Okay, come across when you're ready. Okay, so for 5, 7, 9, 11, find T16, i.e. find the 16th term. Okay, so do a little legend. So A is 5, that's the first number. The number we're trying to find, N, is 16, and the difference between the numbers is 2, so the difference is 2. So to find, write it again, Tn equals A plus N minus 1 times D. So we've got A, N minus 1, uh, we've got 16 minus 1 is 15, and we have 15 differences. So we have 5 plus 30, so the 16th term is 35. Okay, so we've got... Uh, couple more examples. Which term in the sequence 5, uh, 7, 12, 7, 10, 22 is equal to 287? Now obviously you could keep the pattern going but it's going to take you a while so we're going to try to use the general term and rearrange it. So you start with a legend. So A equals 7. We don't know the value of N. N is going to be the term that gives us 287. The difference is 5. The difference is 5. And the TN value is 287. We just don't know what the N value is. So what we do is we start with the formula and we put uh, Tn out the front. A is 7, N minus 1 we don't know and the difference is 5. And then uh, this is expanded out. 5 times N is 5N, 5 times minus, minus 5 and then 7 minus 5 is 2. So we've got 287 equals 2 plus 5N, take 2 off both sides. So you get 285 equals 5n, divided by 5, you get 57. So the 57th term, T57, equals 287. Okay. Righty-o. So let's have a look at the next example. Ah, which is the first term in the pattern, 32, 29, 26? What's the first term to be negative? So we start with our legend. Okay, so we've got A is 32, the difference is minus 3. We don't know the value of N, but we know that Tn is less than 0 because it's going to be a negative number. So this is an equation, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn that equal sign into an inequality. So A plus N minus 1 times D is less than 0. Uh, expand out the bracket and then simplify down to that stage there. Now. Um, what have I done? Oh, we made a mistake there. So minus 3 times n, that should be minus 3n. That's minus 3n. And so when you take the minus 3n across the other side, it becomes a plus 3n, but it's moved to the, it's moved to the greater than side. So 3n is greater than 35, n is greater than 35 on 3, n is greater than 11 2 thirds. So we have to have n as n are numbers like the first term, the second term, third term. So we need to be greater than 11 2 thirds. So the answer is 12. The first number past 11 2 thirds is 12. So t12 is the first number to be negative. Okay. So I'm going to actually just... Uh, there's the exercise that goes with the work. But I just want to show you another way of generating the general term a lot easier. So um, say we have 3, 5... Uh, 7, 9, okay, so Tn equals A plus N minus 1D, so Tn equals 3 plus N minus 1 times 2 equals 3 plus 2N minus 2 equals 2N plus 1, okay, so that's how you would get it. So what I want to do is I want to point out the fact that the coefficient in front of the n is always going to be the difference. Okay? So, 
the coefficient in front of n is always the difference. And so what we do is we just say, well, this is the first term is 3. And so we say, well, how do you go from 2 to 3? And the answer is you add 1. So the answer is general term tn equals 2n plus 1. I'll just show you another example. Uh, 6, 11, plus 5, 16, 21, etc. So the difference is 5. The difference is 5. So tn will equal 5n straight away. And then how do you go from 5 to 6? You add 1. Okay, so that would give you the formula. Otherwise, you just do tn equals a plus n minus 1d. Okay, so there's the exercises to do, and that's it. Thanks, bye.